Traveling can get stressful when it comes to staying connected. Swapping out tiny SIM cards, worrying about losing them, or dealing with roaming fees – it's a hassle. But what if you could skip all that and go digital instead? I am Daniel, welcome to my channel, where I make smart tutorials. In this video, we are diving into Holofly's eSIM, what it is, how it works, and why it might just be the easiest way to stay connected in over 200 destinations worldwide. Let's break it down and see if Holofly is the right travel hack for you. And just a quick heads up, if you decide to grab a Holofly eSIM, you can get 5% off with my discount code DANIELDAN. The link and code are in the description below. Let's get started. Alright folks, so let's talk about what Holofly actually is and how this whole thing works. Holofly is basically a travel connectivity service that covers over 200 destinations worldwide. And the cool thing is you never have to mess around with those tiny physical SIM cards again. Think of an eSIM as a virtual SIM card that lives inside your phone. Instead of popping out your current SIM and fumbling around trying to insert a new one, you just download and activate the eSIM digitally. The whole process happens online and once you purchase a plan, you'll get it delivered to your email or WhatsApp in less than a minute. Guys, the beauty of this setup is that you don't have to give up your regular phone service. Your original SIM stays active, which means your WhatsApp keeps the same number, all your contacts remain unchanged, and your apps continue working exactly as they did before. You're essentially adding a second line to your phone rather than replacing your existing one. Ok guys, before we jump into buying anything, there are a couple of things you need to check with your iPhone first. Now, eSIM compatibility can be a bit tricky depending on which phone you've got. While Hola Fly eSIMs work with many devices, they are not compatible with everything yet, though the technology is expanding pretty quickly. If you're rocking an iPhone XS, XR, or anything newer than those models, you should be all set. Here's something interesting though, folks. If you've got an iPhone 14, or newer and you're in the US, Apple actually ditched physical SIM cards entirely for those models. There is SIM only now, which shows you where the industry is heading. But here's where it gets a little more complicated, guys. Even if your phone supports eSIM technology, that doesn't automatically mean you're ready to go. Your iPhone also needs to be unlocked from your carrier. If you're still making payments on your phone or you bought it directly from Verizon, AT&T or another carrier, there's a good chance it's locked to that specific network. The good news, folks, is most carriers will unlock your phone for free once it's fully paid off, but you'll need to contact them and request it. Just keep in mind, this process can take a few days to complete, so don't wait until the last minute before your trip to figure this out. Now, guys, let's talk about actually buying your eSIM. You want to handle this before your trip, ideally a few days in advance. While you can install the eSIM later, purchasing it ahead of time ensures you have everything ready when you need it. Start by updating your iPhone to the latest iOS version. This step is crucial, folks, and will save you headaches later, especially if you want to use the automatic installation method. You can purchase Holofly eSIMs either through their mobile app or their website. I recommend checking both because the website often has more detailed technical specifications for each plan. Search for your destination and pay attention to what's included in each plan. Over 200 Holofly destinations offer unlimited data, but not all, guys. Read the plan details carefully because these differences can significantly impact your travel experience. If you're visiting multiple countries, check whether Holofly offers a regional eSIM. For example, their Europe offer covers 30 plus destinations, which can be more economical than buying individual country eSIMs if you're doing any border hopping. And here's a bonus. If you're picking up your Holofly eSIM, don't forget to use my discount code DANIELDEN at checkout to get 5% off. You'll find it linked right below. Folks, once you've purchased your eSIM, you have installation options via QR code one button install for iOS 17, 4 or above and manual entry. The method you use depends on your iOS version and personal preference. The QR code installation is actually pretty straightforward, but here's something really important. That QR code can only be used once. Once you scan it, that's it, guys. So don't go scanning it just to test things out. 
or let someone else scan it by accident. And whatever you do, don't delete the eSIM from your phone later, thinking you can just reinstall it. Once it's gone, it's gone for good. Also, if you ever need to move your eSIM, like if your phone breaks or gets stolen, the 24-7 customer support team will help you out. Now let's walk through the actual process, folks. You'll want to open your email on that other device I mentioned and find the email from Holofly with your QR code. If you can't find it in your inbox, check your spam folder, because sometimes these emails end up there. But you can also use the one button install for iOS 17.4 or above first. That's the easiest option really, because in this case, you don't need to scan anything. Everything will happen automatically. Once you've got the QR code up on the other screen, grab your iPhone and open the camera app. Just point it at the QR code, guys, like you're taking a photo, and your phone should automatically recognize it and give you a notification to install the eSIM. When you scan the code, folks, your iPhone will automatically start the installation process. You'll see some prompts asking you to confirm the installation, and you just need to follow along with what your phone is telling you. The whole thing usually takes just a minute or two, and then you'll be ready to configure your settings once you arrive at your destination. Guys, let me take a little break to ask you to like this video and subscribe to my channel. It's absolutely free, but helps me make even more fun tutorials for you. Thanks! Alright folks, so if the QR code scanning doesn't work for you, don't worry. The manual installation is still pretty straightforward. It just involves a bit more typing, but nothing too complicated. The first thing you need to do is find that email from Holofly again. This time you're looking for two specific codes, something called the SMDP plus address and an activation code. They should both be in the same email. And Holofly also sends these via text message, so check your SMS if you can't locate the email. Guys, these codes are basically the digital keys that tell your phone how to connect to their service. Once you've got those codes ready, grab your iPhone and head into settings. From there, tap on mobile data, then look for either add eSIM or add data plan, depending on what your phone shows you. When you see the option, select use QR code. I know that sounds backwards since we're doing manual installation, but stick with me here. Here's where it gets a little counterintuitive, folks. Your phone will bring up the QR code scanner, but instead of actually scanning anything, you're going to look for a small link that says enter details manually and tap on that. This takes you to a form where you can type in those codes I mentioned earlier. You'll see two fields to fill out, guys. One will be for that SMDP plus address, and the other will be for the activation code. Just copy and paste these exactly as Holofly sent them to you. Don't try to type them out manually, because they are long strings of letters and numbers that are easy to mess up. Once you've pasted both codes, your phone will take over and handle the rest of the installation process automatically. The whole thing usually wraps up in a couple of minutes, and then you'll be ready to configure your settings when you actually arrive at your destination. This is where timing becomes critical, folks. Do not activate your eSIM until you've actually arrived at your destination. You can install it beforehand, but activation should happen when you are in the country where you need service. When you're ready to activate, you'll need to make some important configuration choices. If your eSIM plan doesn't include voice calls and Holofly's eSIMs do not, keep your home carrier as the default line for calls and messages. Set the eSIM as your default for cellular data only. Here's the crucial part for avoiding charges, guys. Turn off data roaming for your home carrier line. This prevents it from accidentally using expensive international data. Enable data roaming only for your eSIM line. Also disable automatic data switching between the two lines to ensure all your data goes through the eSIM. Label your eSIM clearly so you can easily identify which line you're using. Folks, after activation, check your signal strength to ensure you have at least one bar of service. Test both data connectivity and any voice services you're paying for. Try loading a web page, sending a message, or making a call to verify everything is working. If something isn't working correctly, don't panic. Holofly offers WhatsApp and live chat support on the website that can walk you through the configuration step by step. Guys, common issues include incorrect data roaming settings, wrong default line selections, 
or problems with the initial installation. Most problems can be resolved by double-checking your cellular settings or reinstalling the eSIM profile. Once you're connected and everything is working, folks, you can monitor your usage through the Holofly app. While many plans offer unlimited data, some have fair usage policies or speed restrictions after certain thresholds. If you have dual SIM active, be mindful of which line you're using for different services. Your home carrier might still charge for international calls or texts, even if you're not using their data. Consider using internet-based services like WhatsApp or FaceTime for communication when possible. Guys, remember that once you install and activate the eSIM on a phone, you may move it to a different device, but only once. After that transfer, it cannot be moved again. Alright guys, that's pretty much everything you need to know about getting started with Holofly eSIMs. Honestly, it makes traveling so much easier. No more fiddling with tiny SIM cards or stressing about roaming fees. Just install it, activate it when you land, and you're connected in minutes. If you're planning a trip soon, I definitely recommend giving Holofly a try. I've left links down in the description so you can check out their plans for your destination. And remember, you can use my code DANIELDEN to get 5% off your Holofly eSIM. It's a small discount, but it helps out the channel and saves you a bit too. And hey, I'd love to hear from you. Have you ever used an eSIM before? Or are you thinking about trying one for the first time? If you're excited to try it out, or if you've already used it and have some thoughts to share, drop a comment below. I'd love to hear your experiences. Don't forget to hit that like button if you found this video helpful and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching and till next time.